back to the channel. Welcome back for video number three. Um, unfortunately, this is gonna be the last video. I know you guys wanted a fourth video, but uh, no, we ain't doing that shit. Uh, but again, guys, yeah, this is the last video for it. Thank God, um, because I'm not gonna keep dragging this whole situation out. Um, sorry for this kind of, I guess, introduction, but uh, we did lose some footage of this video. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the file on my camera, but it did not save or did not record it. But uh, you'll see it kind of jump around. And I apologize for that, guys. Um, I didn't know it was happening. I didn't know the battery died or what was going on. Um, but we picked up as where we were going. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, we did pretty much get to the headlight harness um, that I still need to finish up. But the AC tub kit pretty much is done for now. Um, I still got to adjust some wires. But at the end of the day, all that will get explained at the end in the video. But again, guys, let's just watch the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And hit that bell notification if you guys want to see some more content of this car. Um, because we still have plenty more to do. Um, it may not seem like much more, but we actually do have a lot more to do to this car. Um, before it's actually to the way I want this build to be. But again, guys, we'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Again, please like, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell. Till later. What's up guys, welcome back. So pretty much, we're still in the process of waiting for the DC5 Creations um, hose for the AC tuck kit. Um, as you guys know, we did send back the other one. And unfortunately, um, it's still showing that it's just the label was created. I contacted them and they said that it was gonna be shipping out Monday morning. And honestly, we still don't have that hose or we still don't have any progress on the hose showing that it's been shipped out. It just shows the same thing, label was created. So to keep progress going on this car, because we still need to keep making progress is, in honesty, I need to extend the headlight harness. And this is the first part of it, which this is for the headlight, this is not for the headlights. This is actually for the EVAP the compressor and the fan and then also this is a part of the um, conversion harness that needs to go still with the ac not the ac but the wiring harness that we're coming that's coming from wireworks so we're going to continue or we're going to get to this part and we're going to extend these wires um, because i do have the headlight harness over here and so what i'm going to do is take apart this harness i'm going to delume it and basically, as you guys seen already, I already had started that process. Um, so we're gonna continue the process on it, delumine it, and then we're gonna go ahead and extend those wires, cut, cut some of the color-coded wires that we have in this harness, and we're gonna use the same one colors to extend this harness. And I, as you guys know, I already have the loom and I already have the heat wrap and everything else. So pretty much, let's just continue with this. Let's make some progress on it and see how far we can get before we get um, the AC uh, line coming in. Um, but yeah, this, so this is what the concentration is going to be on for now. So let's just get to it and I'll go ahead and show you guys the way I'm going to do it. And hopefully you guys like it. If you guys don't, please let me know what you guys think in the video. But again, guys, uh, let's just continue making progress. All right, guys. So pretty much I just started off here. I did cut the wires off. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to make a snip here in the middle of this section right here so we can get the wire that I need, which is basically the negative side. And then I got to fish the other side back in this way so that I can merge them both in. But I still got to put wrap over this one and I'll get you guys, I'll show you guys how I merge them over together so that way it covers it up and basically it'll hold it up to the other one. So let me go ahead and finish and I'll show you guys pretty much the end product of this piece right here before we merge it back to the old harness. Cause pretty much that's what's gonna have to be done. Let me fix my camera real quick. That's what's gonna have to be done. Um, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. This is just the way I'm gonna do it. Um, I've done it before and I haven't had any issues with it. So pretty much this is what I'm gonna do again. So at the end of the day, I'll show you guys and let me know what you guys think. And maybe you guys can do it, maybe you guys won't. At the end of the day, again, I'm just doing me. You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? What's up guys? So pretty much I've just been spending a couple of hours. It's almost three o'clock already and I've been doing this since one o'clock, so about two hours. Um, it took me to do that little bit of it to up the upper section to that one plug. I still have that other plug to do. Um, honestly, it's just been taking a long time having to get up and still trying to figure out, trying to do everything with, you know, correct um, stuff. Like as far as, you know, the heat wrap and re it, making sure the, the lanes and everything is matching up so that we don't have one that's longer than the other one. And that way it doesn't look much proportioned. Um, so that's why it's been taking me a little bit of time. Plus I've honestly taken breaks here and there because honestly being slinched over on the floor and basically, you know, cutting wires and soldering them and then re-looming them is honestly a pain in the ass and it's been killing my back. So we're almost done. We're about 
95% there. We got that one plug to do and then we got this plug to do. Um, but as I say, it's pretty much a pain in the ass having to come over here every time and source the wire from this uh, donor harness that I took from my old wagon. Um, I wasn't really gonna use all that, but I really wanted it to be as color coordinated as possible and matching wires so that we wouldn't have any issue later on in the future. And honestly, I think that was just probably the best route I can actually take. Um, so honestly, I think I'm gonna take a break for a little bit right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up on it once my back um, feels better because as I stated, this shit really kills your back doing this. And then I'm gonna put the whole front end back on and that way you guys can get a better picture of how everything's looking. I also made a hole. This is where I'm gonna be making the hole at here. I'm waiting for my battery to charge on the drill so that I can drill the hole in here and get these wires here ran through there. That is the next uh, goal. And then I gotta look for a grommet. I know I have a grommet for it, so I think I'm gonna look for the grommet and put the grommet in there, and that way uh, make sure it's the size and all those wires fit correctly in there. I may also cut this section here, bend it over, and that way all the wiring can run through here once we put the grommet on also. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen yet, but I'm just trying to figure out step-by-step step of the best solution to get that done. So stick with us and let's just keep grinding on this. What's up guys, welcome back. So pretty much as you guys seen in the last clip, we ended up getting started on the headlight harness tuck. I pretty much just re-loomed a um, majority of it. I still have a small section I need to do. Um, if progress has been slow on it just because I've been having to deal with, you know, it's just recently my son's birthday this weekend. And honestly, I took time apart, took time away just to be able to spend it with them, you know, and enjoy the weekend with them for his birthday. He turned 18, so that way, hopefully he'll be out of my house soon. Just kidding, guys. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I did try to maintain some progress on it. I did put the fenders back on it because I had to roll the car out of the house. I mean, out of the garage to be able to clean up my garage and honestly get ready for the whole party that we did for my son. Um, as, as you guys can see here, we still have a little bit left to do, but I'll go ahead and get that taken care of at the end off the camera. Um, I really don't want to continue got boring you guys with that part of the wiring. Um, because honestly, it's pretty pretty boring. Um, I did mess up on it, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, I've never really done this before, so I did forget to put two wires: this power wire, and then also this ground wire down here. Um, I need to snake these out. Basically, I need to extend these back down to the power and the ground that goes in by the headlight, so that, that way um, it's longer and it'll fit. It doesn't really need to be so much longer, but because I am gonna be putting these these down in this little junction or this hole that I did drill. I did drill this hole. I need to go, unfortunately, a little bit bigger than that and then find a two inch grommet to be able to cover that up. Um, I want the wires to be able to snake in through here. I am gonna make a plate. Most likely that's gonna kind of bolt on here and cover this whole portion up. That way it'll kind of bend through it. That is the goal at least, to be able to fabricate something to where it bends in tucks this out of the way and tucks the harness out of the way. Um, you'll probably be only see the windshield wiper harness basically, but I'll be tucking that out of the way also as much as possible. I'm gonna be doing that to the same side over there. Um, but we did pretty much get the, DC, the last line from DC5 Creations. Unfortunately, it took longer than what I really thought it was gonna take. You know, I rushed it as you guys seen in the last video. I rushed it to take it off and send it out within a matter of a day, less than a day. Um, and I got it over there. It did land to him pretty quick. It landed with him two days after I sent it out. And he told me that it was gonna be out first thing Monday morning, which turned out to be false. Um, I guess it's just, I don't know. I don't wanna put anything out there, but it's just false. You know, it didn't leave technically. The label was created Monday, but it did not leave until Wednesday. And it just arrived today. And today is Monday. Um, I think it's the 16th or the 17th. Let me check. So it is the 16th. Um, and yeah, as you guys know, basically it took forever to get here. But we did get the line here and the line is here now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pretty much remove that fender um, and take off pretty much the bumper again. Again, I had to put this car back together so that, that way we were able to pretty much roll the car out. Um, last week I was hit with a small fine for having too many cars in my driveway um, due to HOA. Um, they seen that a car didn't have no engine in it and basically it was a rolling shell. So they did hit me with a small fine. Um, I'm cool with it, but I will be making room for that car to put it somewhere else. Unfortunately, it has to go. Um, I can't keep it here much longer. They gave me seven days from the last day and pretty much I have until the end of this week to pretty much 
get it out of here. So hopefully I can find a spot to put it at and I'll explain more of that car later on in the future. Um, but yeah, you know, that car has to go. Um, but let's pretty much just continue with this car. Uh, let's get that last AC kit, uh, last AC line installed in the car and hopefully we get better fitment. I really hope we get better fitment so that we don't have any issues with this whatsoever to come. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place All this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord, give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? No mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Y'all, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your wrong tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign Alright guys, so pretty much as you guys see me now Put the line in The line pretty much snaked in all the way um, I'm going to be honest with you guys Again, you know I guess it's me being picky You know, but we'll figure this out The way this line has to come in here Is just pretty much I feel like just retarded I guess the angle of this hose because even though the hose is flexible it's not really flexible um, because you can yeah you can twist it and you can turn it but you got to remember there's always gonna be tension onto these um, mounting positions or these these mounting tabs so there's always gonna be tension on it um, and I think just the angle of it at the end of the day like I said maybe it's just me being picky but yeah I'm not I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bumper on throw the fender back on and see pretty much how everything is going. Alright guys, so pretty much the bumper is on. We do have some fitment issues now we got to work on. Um, there is a lot of tension right here in this section. I believe it may be because of this line right here that's hitting. Um, but there is some tension here. I'll have to address that. Um, but I guess this is the best pretty much we're going to get out of this bumper anyways. Um, as you can tell, it's not lined up. I believe it's because of the headlights. I'm not sure if it's because of the the fenders, um, but it did line up in the beginning. Maybe the fenders are aftermarket. I don't really know. From my understanding, this whole car was pretty much all original, um, except for, of course, it didn't come with headlights and some other interior stuff when we got the car. But I'll worry about that at the end. At least now we have the line. The line is in. Um, so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is pretty much show you guys what to do and how to do this. My best bet, in all honesty, guys, is 
just to do the following. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So pretty much today's a new day as you guys can see and honestly I woke up feeling like complete trash. Um, but I felt like we had to come out here and be able to show you guys what exactly is going on with this whole thing. So as you guys seen pretty much last night, I did install the last line or the last puzzle piece to this whole DC5 Creations kit uh, for the AC Tuck kit. Um, but unfortunately, we do have some issues. As you guys seen, you know, the bumper is interfering or the line is interfering with the bumper now. It's putting a lot of tension onto that bumper. Uh, it's not so much a lot of tension, but at the end of the day, that's tension that bothers me because I do plan on running a uh, bumper support on here. Not an original one. It is going to be an aftermarket um, tubular one that I do want to run to be able to have that support just in case I do get into a front end collision or any of that stuff. I want to be able to have that support you know to be able to block as much damage as possible so at the end of the day you know that's one issue that we're facing right now is that one line and let me go ahead and show you guys again basically how i did everything and again guys if you guys are going to order this kit order the kit for the half size radiator do not order the one for the full size stay away from that kit unless you guys really want to run that line through your guys's engine bay and have issues with it that's just my opinion at the end of the day guys you know i'm not a full-on 100 car builder i don't do this for a living i'm just personally building my own car with my own experience that's something i want to share with you guys um, but at the end of the day the line is ran unfortunately and it's just not meeting to my standards at the end of the day i do have high standards and something is just i have to accept um, but yeah so as you guys seen basically the way we ran the lines is both lines are ran on the bottom of the fuse box here so i am going to keep my fuse box in the engine bay um i do make two holes right there they're an inch and a half with another one on top that basically i'll be running those wires through also with the grommet so my whole fuse box still mounts correctly in its correct position i still gotta address all of these wires and get them routed correctly and we did have them come out through here i do have a plate for this that i'm going to be tapping in here and basically hold with silicone and everything else so we can have access to it if we ever need to get into these lines um, but i did run them through the fender brace basically or the wheel well brace and both lines are ran here again you guys will need to keep the original evap um, canister so that you guys can utilize this plug that goes up on top of it that is this canister up here so this one usually mounts right here on the driver's side wheel well by the windshield washer fluid bottle that's where it usually mounts and usually you will see it stick out of there and basically run the lines through your ac so the canister itself does not get used as basically the canister on the DC5 creation is actually integrated with the condenser itself. So both lines are ran from here going downwards, um, basically running to its locations that it needs to go to. So the condenser right here is where it mounts. And then the big boy, that's the skinny boy on the bottom. And then this is, I call it the big boy, is actually goes in here. So you guys can see right there, they're both mounted. Both lines are mounted. This line here is the one that I said that it's kinked over to where I felt like it should have been shorter. It could have just made it an easier transition. But at the end of the day, that's the way they made it. I'm not sure why. That's them. They designed it. But uh, yeah, I felt at the end of the day, the big boy line here, this one, should have had a U shape so that, that way the hose would slope downwards and that way you can pretty much route both hoses these two hoses which goes to the condenser and the one that goes to the compressor can be closer together and that way you have a better fitment of these hoses and that way you can pretty much integrate them together and tuck them out of the way because this is where I'm having the issue at with my bumper this is hitting I'm going to try to move things around and I will update you guys um, in a little bit let me go ahead and see if I can move some stuff around so we can get a better fitment of this hose all right guys so pretty much what I ended up doing off camera was I had to move over the condenser over to the the driver's side more um, I did have to pretty much move it over two notches I believe it is that's what it was that I had it at because I had it more towards the passenger side so these two lines are ran now and the fitment of the bumper I already tried it is actually okay and now we don't have no tension on the bumper with this line but I still recommend that if DC5 Creations does see this video um, that he makes it like this whole U-shaped here because that's going to be honestly a lot 
easier for it to get routed and it saves a lot more time in all honesty so that way it honestly routes better of the whole lines and everything else so i already tried the bumper on and everything and there's only one issue that i have now is that since this line here is so bulky instead of going backwards it's hitting my intercooler piping so that intercooler um, i'm gonna have to make new brackets for it and extend it um down that side way down that this way to the driver's side or honestly i'm gonna see if i can get a new line made um i may just see if i can get new new fittings put onto this hose and then also get one that's made here so that way we can just get it straight down into that section there um, but either way it works now i'm okay with it for it being the time being um, but yeah as i stated i am gonna have to cut this section out which is the plan either way i'm gonna cut this whole piece out right here i'm gonna do the same thing on that side so that way it's all looking identical on both sides and that way fitment and when you look into the engine bay you don't see something that's just different um but yeah so now pretty much for this kit to work all we really have to do now is extend two wires or should i say two plugs which is the compressor plug which is this one and then also the evap plug which is this one so these two wires right here need to be extended over to the passenger side um along with the i believe if you guys want to save some time or if you guys want to do it correctly the fan for the condenser because i am going to be putting the fan on that condenser either way so that we can help it and get colder so i am going to extend these three plugs actually and that way basically they'll run pretty much all the way down to the passenger side aside from that um Nothing else needs to get extended, but just remember these plugs are actually located on the stock chassis over here on the driver's side because this is where the AC compressor and the fan and pretty much the EVAP system all sits was originally in this corner because you would have the compressor, you would have the EVAP down here and you had the fan here also. So now those are the only things I need to extend, but at the end of the day, I don't think I need to extend the one for the fan either way, because once I get the fan for it, I can easily just extend the fan wire all the way to this section over here. So it's mainly those two plugs that I need to extend, and then that way the full AC kit would work um, without any issues as far as that I know. Um, but at the end of the day, remember guys, I'm still learning all this stuff. This is new to me, even running a full you know, AC kit on a K-Swap. So again guys, you know, order the right kit and my kit that i recommend is for the half size whether you run full size or half size because either way you're going to be facing this situation for a full size radiator as you can still still tell how would you get it to fit if this is the way it is running currently and this originally kit this kit originally was for a full size so at the end of the day it just doesn't make any sense the way all this is pretty much just ran you get what i'm saying so maybe i'm wrong let me know again i'm really asking you guys for your guys' opinions on this and hopefully you guys did stay until the end of the video to watch this so you guys can get a better understanding of what i was really talking about with this kit what's up guys welcome back so pretty much as you guys just seen in this video you know we still have some issues with the ac tuck kit from dc5 creations maybe i'm just being picky maybe um you guys don't agree with me maybe you guys do agree with me but if you guys do or you guys don't please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this kit so far um i'm not gonna be making a video number four of this i didn't want even want to make a video number three of it but at the end of the day i had to finish the kit and we finally got the hose two weeks later and now it's installed and i'm not happy with it um maybe i'm just being a crybaby it is what it is you know what i'm saying i just really have a passion for this build that i'm doing and especially for this whole car scene i don't just put cars together just to think oh i want to be a part of something you know what i'm saying i have a passion i'm passionate about this whole jdm scene honda scene and everything else i'm just really passionate about building cars and putting my touches the way i like them into my cars but at the end of the day it is what it is i'm going to be looking into a local company here maybe it's a hydraulic company i'm going to look into them to see if they can do the hose for me or cut that hose and add a different fitting that has the same thread pitch on it and if they can do that and honestly awesome i'm going to go that route and i'm going to shorten the other line that's interfering with the intercooler because i want my intercooler to be back in the same location where i had it because that matched up in the middle of my bumper exactly how i wanted it i hate seeing intercoolers that are misproportioned in the bumper off to one side and it looks like trash having a big gap that's just my opinion at the end of the day everybody is free to do whatever they want but for this build i'm not doing that 
and hopefully you guys can see I am frustrated with this kit but at the end of the day it is what it is I can't do anything about it except for fixing it myself I guess you can say because if I go back to them it'll probably just be a headache and I'll probably end up waiting a month for another line but again guys with that being said please like subscribe and share the video and honestly hit that bell notification so when I do drop the next video you guys are alerted on it so again guys see you guys on the next one till next time guys I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign